Greetings. Welcome. Hope everybody had a wonderful New Year's. Uh, happy uh, 2024. And uh, hope that it brings much joy and less barriers towards you transcending yourself. Okay, so today we're going to make a... Uh, this is a, a tool just for... Um, removing wing nuts, right? And, uh, you know, if you've ever tried to remove a wing nut, it's very time consuming, especially when you're in a high volume situation or you just don't want to be annoyed because it takes forever to just go like that, right? So I purchased this a while ago and I said to myself, you know what, I think I need to make one. The reason why is because this has limitations. It's just not deep enough. And occasionally you get a wing nut that's like that deep and this stops right here right what is this tool well if you look at it right you can see that it actually just took this is 12 millimeter on it uh, a little hard to see yep yeah, maybe all right so this is a 12 millimeter socket that's all it is if you look at it you can see it's got the pattern Right of a of a 12 millimeter socket, and uh, boy, that light is completely dead. Um, so that's what it is. It's a 12 millimeter socket. They just you know it's it's one of those sets that come with a quarter inch drive, and all you do is just you know you just pull it off and put it on and stuff like that. They're cool. They're kind of useless. I haven't had many uses for them. Well, that, that, this is what this is, and it's purchased like this. All right, we're going to make one that is that uses this adapter. All right, so you can pull it out. We'll keep it. We're going to use this long deep socket right here. This is uh, uh, part number AMZST nine three six eight dash thirteen, made in Taiwan. Uh, I didn't even know these sockets existed because I don't have this use case, but it's a 13 millimeter. We're going we, we, we're gonna to use 13 millimeter for this. All right. And uh, see the difference? Size matters, right? That's what she said. Okay, so let's kind of pop that open. Now, how did I choose this 13 millimeter? I just kind of matched it up and I saw like, oh, the diameter is roughly the same. This is probably. Probably 14 millimeter in this would have been the exact same, but we don't need it to be that big. This is close enough, right? So these are really cool because they um they're for I don't know. You read the comments on, on on the internet, you can figure out why they use them. Anyway, um so that will go into that like that, and it gives us the opportunity to use a either a three eighths drive or a quarter inch drive on this. Okay. All we got to do is just cut that out, and then we're going to have ourselves a custom deep uh, wing nut socket. All right, so we got to collect some data about this, uh, like how deep, and uh, I don't know if you've ever, uh, some of you have like, uh, you know, calipers, digital calipers. This is the best one ever. Like, I bought a lot of bad ones, and I decided I'd just finally get a good one. This is a Japanese company. It's called it's a Mitutoyo, Mitutoyo, Mitutoyo. It's uh, that is the manufacturer of this digital caliper. Highly recommend it. Best one I've ever owned. So highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Okay, super accurate. Doesn't do any weird stuff. Um, all right. So we kind of like need to figure out the depth of this. We're looking at about okay. That's about uh, 14 millimeters. Okay, so it's about 14 millimeters, and uh, let's go ahead and get the. Uh, How wide it is. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's about five millimeters wide. Okay, so 14 by five. We need to mark this off. So we're gonna transfer some marks to this. And, uh, 14 millimeters deep. Marker might be better. Uh, it's an elusive marker when you need it. Where are you? to go four millimeters deep. I mean wide, sorry, wide. There we go. I don't know if it's maybe a little hard to see, but uh, yeah, those are the markings. So that's how deep, that's how wide, and now we're just going to right across. You know what? I should probably so I can line this up better. Doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. That's it. All right, so here's our final uh, markings, right? Uh, okay, so the. It is actually important to figure out how you're going to do this across the uh, the socket for the following reason, right? You don't want it to be off-centered because when you spin it'll wobble like that. It, it's, it takes the uh, wing nut out, so you need to be pretty precise. So what I did, right, I used the uh, the corners, exact mirrored corners of the socket. I marked my uh, four millimeter width there. And then that's going to be what I'll use to uh, cut straight down till we get to uh, 14 millimeters right here.
So what we want to do, right, once we get our first cut started, right, we want to use, we want to make sure that these are across from each other, right? And uh, we need to make sure that the, the width of the gap between here matches this, right? So if we go like this, you can see that we can cut a little bit more off of, oops, sorry, we can cut a little bit more off of that side. Same thing over here. So it's good to be cautious because you, you can't get the metal back once it's gone, right? Okay, so next, all right, we're gonna line it up. So we're gonna look through here, just kind of get the edges lined up and see where they are, and then see where we are, where we need to kind of cut more off to make things right. So on this side right here, if I cut down on this side, that'll give me more centered aligned socket. So, yep, that looks about right. there yeah okay so cut down a little bit more on this on this side that's what we're gonna all right so I marked it so in case it drops again I don't hate myself too much so we're gonna cut off a little bit more on this side and then we're gonna cut down on this side right here so if you look at it they're the opposite so we're gonna cut on this side over here and this side over here okay and i chose to line up off of here because this is a straighter this is the straighter side this is the uh side that's a little little too wonky okay safety glasses don't forget So we're going to need a file to uh, kind of finish this off. So these small files are amazing. Uh, very good stuff to have. Oh, there you go. So that's it. Not the best side. But this side's so much neater. Right. The width is spot on. And also it lines up perfectly. 
So I'm going to go like this, line that up, flip it around, lines up perfectly. So, maybe, well not perfectly, but you get it. <laughs> We're not launching a spaceship, right? We're just going to build a, a wingnut socket. All right, that's it. So you can do a couple of things, you know, if you're going to, if you know you'll never use a 3H drive on this, you can just go ahead and throw some JV weld, put it in there, call it a quits, or take your welder, just weld this on. But I wouldn't do any of those, because you lose the flexibility of having a, a 3H drive or a quarter inch drive. Just use this to attach to it. Okay? Alright, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down too. If there's something else we could have done better, let me know. Other than that, I had a great time making this, and I hope that you had a great time watching, and I hope that you try to make your own wingnut sockets, because this is the better way to go. You need the depth, that's all I can tell you. Okay? And these dimensions are important. You know, they're, if you don't know what they are, you're just going to be uh, cutting stuff and making a mess. Alright? You're going to need uh, air... I recommend it. You, probably, you can probably, probably, just take a, you know, handsaw and cut this down, but it's going to take a while. You'll need uh, some small files like this. To get the flat bottom, uh, you're going to need this triangle shaped it file. Because it has the flat sides, three flat sides, okay? And um, you'll need, definitely will need just a typical flat file like that. Okay? Alright, thanks again for watching and I'll uh, see you next video and I'll leave links in the description of where, what tools I used.